Hey everyone, it's your boy man here making another video, you know, I mean, talking about VR. And well, a friend of mine over the holidays got a PlayStation VR and I just wanted to touch bases with him and just have a quick interview to, to hear his thoughts about what it is like to step in VR for the very first time. What's up guys? My name is Kendo Sutomayor. You may recognize me from my Instagram page at you can do it. Um, I had an opportunity to meet with Jermaine, try the Rift, we'll see where that takes me. Alright Kando, so the first thing I wanted to ask you and the first thing is like, you know, what made you decide to get the PlayStation VR? Uh, it was affordable for one. Um, the experience, uh, there's been plenty of times where I've just been curious YouTubing um, for you, of course. Okay. Um, always promoting it in a sense where it got me curious. So. Oh, well, that that's what's up. And, and I, I, one of the things that I love that you just said was it was affordable. You, you know what I mean? I think, I mean, like a lot of people talk about the the, the resolution, and, and once we get into the, the Oculus, you can compare it as you're you're saying. But for me, the main thing was that it was affordable to you, so it gives more people the opportunity to get into VR. What do you think about that? Exactly. That's um, PlayStation 4. I don't have a computer. Well, I have a computer, but it's not a, a high-end computer where it can run programs at that speed and process what it needs to. Um, so I was, you know, PlayStation 4 came out with the VR, and you know, I'm always down to try something new. Uh, I tried it, and I, I love it. So. I like to hear that. So just quickly, how can you tell me about the setup of it? Like, was it hard for you to put it all together or was it, was it like, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm, I mean, to be honest with you, I don't know if it's the fact that I'm older now, but I definitely had to pull out the manual to put it together. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's... Uh, well, it's a lot to VR, you know what yeah. I mean? It is a lot with the setups and stuff like that. So that's why I wanted to get that out there. Like, someone that's not tech savvy, and that's not their main thing. Like, well, how was it for you? PlayStation made it convenient enough where it's actually even pictures. Okay. It's numbered. So, I mean, if it came down to reading, I, of course, I could read the manual. Right. But, I mean, they made it to where I think, like, a seven-year-old could put it together. Okay, good, pictures, good, good. Each page. So, All right, that's nice. That, that's, that, once again, accessibility then. That was, uh, that seems to be a great point in, in, in getting the PlayStation VR. All right, I like that. All right. So now, now that we've gone through the setup, what was the very first thing that you, you actually played? Um, I think it was like the demo, honestly. Well, no, no, I lied. I think it was Skyrim. I put on Skyrim. It was like the bundle pack. Okay. Uh, my girlfriend actually bought it for me for Christmas. Oh, right. That's, just, so. that's an awesome girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's great. Um, I put Skyrim in, um, configured, you know, before you actually even start playing the game, you know, it's like a, you configure your headset, you configure the wands. Um, that's pretty easy. Uh, the VR actually comes with lights on the front and a light in the back. Mm -hmm. So you just have to match it up to your TV. Okay. And then I guess that way, collab, oh, what is the? The syncs or yeah, yeah whatever. Sinks. Um, yeah, so I put Skyrim in and I think it's the game starts off when you're in a wagon with like three prisoners. Oh, okay, okay. And well, wait, before we even get to that, right? And yeah. I, I, I know you're just about to, to dive into yeah. the game itself. <laughs> but what I want now is that first moment you open your eyes inside the actual headset in the HMD. Like, what was what was you thinking? Like, you know what I mean? Because I know I know it's a, it's like weeks ago, but we all never forget that first moment that we open our eyes in VR. So what 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 rolled through your head when you saw it when you did that? I, I was like, whoa! To be honest with you, uh, immediately I just started looking around. I literally felt like I was in the game. Right, right. So, and that's that the thing. Cool. Like remember, I used to tell games. you all the time. I was like, I try to explain it to you, and I was like, you're never gonna get it. So you just in it. So yeah, no, I, yeah go ahead, continue. Completely agree. Like that. It was it was definitely awesome. Like. Um, do you want me to get more in detail about the game? Uh, or? Uh, yeah, we're gonna go. We're, we're gonna get into the game, but right now it's just more about that that first, first moment. Like I, I want was excited. Honestly, I'm like, yo, I can't. I'm. I feel like I'm in the game. I want to play the game. Oh, just okay. To how, how it feels like to actually be inside? I felt like I was inside the game. So. Right. Hey, well, I guess more. Um, the way to now start to think about is not inside the game, but now inside that world. Yeah, I like that. 
You, you know what I mean? No, I, I agree. Right, yeah. Because the game is just something that's out there in front of you. This is something you're now within. Yeah, no, I agree. That's, it's, it's, you have the experience is all I'm saying. Right, yes, yeah, that, that is that is true. All right, so now now go ahead and, and tell me about as you start up the game and, 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 and got into it. So um, I guess I'm in the wagon with three prisoners. Immediately I like look to my right, there's two guys like, guess tied up uh-huh and uh and what that make that feel you well, make I, you feel like though Cause i was excited i was kind of like oh holy crap like where am i going i never played the game before oh, okay okay so the game itself was like new so i'm mm -hmm. like okay cool so i started getting into story mode i guess um the story was all right i mean i'm not really uh i think it's like medieval times yes yeah, it's an rpg I'm, fantasy I'm, yeah i'm not really into that game right and, like I don't know. It, it was cool. Like, don't get me wrong. I was inside the game for the first 20 minutes. It was good. And then, like, it got to the point where I guess I get the free roam. Okay. And uh, that's when I just lost interest in it. I'm riding a horse because I, mm. I guess you can come across horses. So I'm like, oh, let me get on this horse. So I'm like, oh, this is, like, dope. Like, I'm riding around a horse in the woods and I actually feel I'm in the game. Yeah. And, like, 30 minutes later, I'm still riding around on a horse. Not knowing okay. I'm, going. <laughs> I'm like, yo, I got to return this. <laughs> So, right, right. I will. I would say then, a, a big open world RPG was not probably the best place for you to start VR off at. Probably. Okay. Yeah. So okay, then what was the next game that you put in? Well, I traded that game and ended up getting Farpoint. Okay, which got a lot of really good reviews, especially yeah. for the the aim controller. I remember I was telling you when yeah, you, you got it right, you should get the aim I, controller. I do remember that? Um, <laughs> yeah, I went to GameStop, traded in. Skyrim, or Sky, I don't even know what it's called. Yeah, Skyrim. Skyrim. Uh, okay, whatever, Skyrim. Um, ended up getting $60 for a brand new aim controller and mm -hmm. Farpoint. Okay, nice. That was a good ass deal. Yeah, it was. Um, took it home. Um, same thing, but this time I have to sync the aim controller. And I guess Farpoint's more of a VR game, mm -hmm. so it actually syncs you into the game. Like, okay, like okay. Sky, Skyrim didn't really sink me into the game. I you understand. See what I'm saying? No, no, I got, I got what you feel. I so understand what you're saying. VR, I mean, I think because Farpoint's an actual VR game, it sunk me into the game. So mm -hmm. it was more like, I guess, user-friendly. I don't know. But the game was like fast-paced, like more my speed. I'm more of a Call of Duty guy. I used to okay. play Halo 3 when right, I right, right. 360. Um, so that's more of my type of game. But that game's pretty cool. I'm still playing it. And it's long, too. It's not like... The game, I think, right now is maybe 30 or 40 bucks. VR games are pretty freaking cheap. Right. So that's the good thing. Like, it's not like you go to the store, buy a brand new game, and it's 60 bucks. VR games are cheap. So this is like maybe 40. Well, regardless, it doesn't matter. Well, and right, right now, also, just to say with that is everything is so new and they're just learning. Um, you know what I mean? They don't. They're not as feature rich as some of the sixty bucks games currently right sure. now. And and as the bigger games come, there's probably going to be some sixty bucks games down probably. the line. But currently, right now, we're going to enjoy the thirty bucks game yeah, while we can. Keep them thirty. If you can. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep buying them and trading them. So. Um. All right. Well, that is good. Now, one of the things that I just wanted. The only other last questions that I wanted to ask before we before you throw you in the riff real quick is. Yeah. <clears throat> and this is it um what what did you feel like you know what i mean like i'm pretty sure you've gotten a boss fight by now yeah all right yeah, I did. now what what did it feel like because i remember and on on a on a xbox when you come up across a boss fight i always remember the feeling of the boss fight like oh my god look at this boss but that feeling, how, is it, how much of amplification is that done now in VR when, they, when you come across that, bu that big boss with the very first one for the first time? Um, and, I, and, and not just the experience I want you to talk about, I want you to tell me more about like, like how did it make you feel like that oh or what type of moment did it give you? Um, Alright, so like I said, I only played one like VR game, which is Farpoint. Right. But I, can, I did run a, like, come across like a boss. It was like this giant like alien thing that came from like this cave mm -hmm. and um it was pretty freaking cool because mind you you <clears throat> if you think you're already in the game you're actually there right so i'm like 
approaching this cave and I see something like coming out the cave and mind you it's not something little like it's mm -hmm. not my height so right. I like backed up immediately and this like giant spider alien thing comes out and I was like looking at it like I was actually there like I'm looking all over him and I'm like holy crap like this is crazy so I had to like you know run back um cool thing also I want to add with the aim controller um there it's like a directional pad kind of like a Nintendo 64 uh joystick I okay guess. right thumb pad thumb yeah. sticks yeah thumb sticks but it's smaller it's not like a playstation right. 4 or anything so mm -hmm. it's really tiny and but it, it makes it really easy to maneuver and um you know i'm walking like if i go backwards i go backwards whatever but um like i'm trying to get behind rocks because this guy's like shooting stuff from the sky right like, i don't know it was, it was pretty uh intense I okay say. that's but to say the least it was intense all right so, that yeah that's that's definitely the, the impression that I mean, I had from my very first boss fight in a VR game, and I just wanted to make sure that it's like a universe. It's like universal across anyone that I talk to. We've all had that that oh shit, like yeah. back up moment. Type to let me take in all this yeah. and, and then decide what to do afterwards. No, I agree. I also want to add one thing. Um, when playing VR, I actually like when you play like a video game. And d depending on how deep you are into the game, sometimes you want to cut the talking out and mm -hmm. just get to, you know, shooting things, yeah. whatever type of game you're playing. I actually enjoy the talking part. Ooh, yeah, VR, yeah, yeah. It's weird. Like, I'm actually, like, I feel like I'm there listening to the conversation. Like, yes, I feel yes. like someone's there with me. Like Talking to you. Yeah, no, that's that's one thing I do want to add, which is really cool about VR. Like, I grew up the whole, my whole entire life just skipping. Can we just, like, hitting X really fast? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. Like, get to the shooting. But this is actually, like, enjoyable, and it actually makes you want to, like, you feel like you're, I don't know, it's weird. It's no, cool. It's, it's, cool. it's cool. You're right, because it's now, it's like... It's almost like, and, and I know this is weird when I, and I, I tell this, I said this to people, it's almost like you feel rude to skip the conversation because yeah. now you feel like this is a person right in front of you trying to tell you something yeah, no. and, and then you, you feel like if you were to just walk away and be and ignore them, that is like you being rude for a moment, yeah. you know what I mean? And it's, you're in that world so now you, you actually look to this person as a person even though they're just a digital representation no i completely agree with that <laughs> so <laughs> all right cool 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 so um now that we've got his impression of his playstation i'm going to throw him into the oculus here all right so <clears throat> first thing he's going to see is the um the dashboard or my home so we're going to get to get you in here go ahead and put it in you want to slip it from the back on there you go Alright, and all right, I'm gonna, yeah, you see your hands coming, yeah. put your hands, make a fist, I'm gonna put, right, and then this is your right hand, make a fist on the left, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, there you go, good. oh shit, I didn't even know there's a, a wall, I feel like I'm in <laughs> the China or something, alright, now look down at your hands. Okay. Alright, open your hands. Alright, point a finger. All right, wait. Best to keep that one in. Point point a finger. Do a thumbs up. Alright, cool. <clears throat> so how's that how does that make you feel looking at your hands in there for the first time? Um pretty cool. I mean I can definitely say uh this is definitely more responsive than the PS4. All right, all right. So um, this is where I'm going to stop the main camera here. All right, so you, you were just in the Rift, right? So what is the first difference that you noticed between the Rift and the PlayStation 4 once you got in? Head, the headset was actually really comfortable, like the Rift. Um, the graphics, I would say the Rift is not that much better than the PS4, believe it or not. Okay. So, the resolution. Yeah, yeah. The resolution. Um, right. And I, that was something I did tell you before. Yeah, yeah. No, but like when you, that's one thing I want to say. When you, when you get the VR, you're expecting what you see on YouTube. Like, 
when you're watching a YouTube video and someone playing VR, the quality is a crisp. You think it's 1080p when you put this head when you put the headset on? It's not. It's not 1080p. So I'm not gonna fool you. But you know, you're gonna complain about it for like 20 minutes, and then you're gonna realize the graphics doesn't even matter at this point anymore. It's just more of the gameplay and the experience of actually feeling you're in the game. So right, right, right. So that's. Uh, yeah, I, I I must admit to that. That's I, I like the very first. 10 or so minutes in when I'm in in it and now I don't even notice it anymore but I noticed the what they call the screen door effects like you see these very small lines in between the pixels right yeah 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 you know I what agree. I mean and but now like I don't even notice it anymore I just in the world that I'm in yeah it's a kind of like the only way to describe it is like playing a board game like now you can play a board game on your phone but Everyone likes to actually play the board game itself. Yes. Right, right, right. I'd rather pull a board game out of my closet than play a board game on my phone. Right. I don't know, it's just experience. The same difference. Like, yeah, I'm not I don't have the crisp quality that I will have as I'm playing with the remote, but I'll take, you know, not as high resolution just to actually feel like I'm in the game. Alright, so what do you think about the the game? I and I mean it was, was cool. I yeah. think it was accurate. I like I, I was purposely trying to get headshots in mm -hmm. at one point once I got the controls down. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know if you, I did see. Get, I did get a few headshots. Right, it was hard for me to see what because <laughs> I'm not seeing exactly it. one I, I or one. Yeah, man, I was like, and that's the one cool thing. Like especially with shooters, you're just like, I, depending on the future, they may have superhero games, dude. You'll probably actually feel like a superhero or something. Honestly, well, it's funny that you say that because you, you have Marvel United coming out on Oculus really? Rift. Yes, dude, uh, it's funny too because that's gonna be dope. And if I don't know if you're a StarCraft fan or I don't I don't even know what the type of gaming that's considered. R RTS. Yeah, RTS is yes. Mm -hmm. um, if you're a StarCraft, Warcraft, uh, I don't even know what other games that are like that anymore. But if that in VR, literally, will probably be like the future of gaming. Because I did play a demo on the PS4. It was some stupid like Dino something, but mm -hmm. it's about you're in. A time where dinosaurs and humans are in the same world. Okay. So you kind of are building a town uh -huh. while raising dinosaurs, but like you battle and stuff. Right, right, right. You're in the center of the game and you're uh. controlling buildings. You literally feel like you're just like there. Like a god. I, yeah, I didn't want to say that, <laughs> but yeah, that's exactly how you feel. And it's the weirdest feeling. But right. I lie to you not, VR is definitely the future, like, when it comes to gaming itself, but hands down. Like, the fact that it can step down on the quality of resolution, because when you think of games, you think of, oh, PS3 is corny. No, actually, I'll take that back. PS2 is corny compared to Xbox One because of the graphics. Everyone yeah. makes a big deal about the graphics, the graphics, the graphics. I think this is the first time in gaming where graphics really don't matter. I, you know what, I, I, and, and you're the first, like, and this is good hearing you say that because you're so new to it and, yeah. and everything like that, and, um, and but you, you, I agree with you, yeah. you know what I mean, because now it's not about how pretty or how detailed everything is, but just how much it can pull you into the world that you're actually a part of. Yeah, and I do like, with the Rift, like, this controller allows you to feel more like you're into the game because when you like let go of your finger you see your finger point you yes. know what i mean you let go of your like you click the trigger button in your hands you know clamp together yeah so i like that i don't like how i have to hold my hand in the whole time that like that no kinda, i like, i understand that and um and yes gun um yeah you guys know who you are I'm in your forums and I've been saying that to you guys for the longest time. People actually don't like that. So get on top of that, fix that. <laughs> well, you've been saying that? Dude, yeah, I was, it's literally, it's confusing. It's, you know, it cramps up your palm. Like, I don't have time for that. <laughs> Where else did you hear someone say that, right? You, you guys think I'm in just BS new. People actually do not like holding the grip down to hold their guns. I don't know what made you guys come up with that, but stop it. Like I, stop it now. Like I'd rather, you know, I like the fact that I have to pick up my gun. Like well, like a toggle. Like, in, in like, well, that's how PlayStation 4 is. Like, 
I don't like compare the wands. Mm -hmm. I use the wands compared to this. Hands down, this is a hundred times better. But with the ink controller, uh, I would say it's kind of like eh because I'm seeing the controller now. So right. It's yeah. Kind of like okay, but I still give this. You know, it's still better, but not by much. But like with PS4, I like when you press the trigger button and like I kept doing this because that's how you put your host your gun away in PS4. Like depending on the game, of course. But I mean, I go like this. I holster my gun. They go and grab it. I, I don't even think I have to press a trigger. I just make the motion that I'm reaching for my handgun and mm -hmm. then hit the triggers. Right, right, right. So yeah, that, that was pretty cool. The accuracy is awesome. Um, I do like with the Rift. With the PS4, like it's one webcam, and I don't know if your set comes with multiple cameras. Yes, it it will come with um, the dual cam the you, sensors. You yes. feel more uh, not as restricted with the PS4. I like I'll stand up or sit down depending on the game. Um, and I mean, mind you, I did only play Farpoint, but I played Skyrim too, and the demos that it came with. Mm -hmm. but, so, but uh, sometimes you'll. Like, you have to pick up a third controller. Like, with the PS4, right, yeah. I need another controller to center my freaking Oh, okay, right, right, right. Because I'm only in front of one camera. Right. So I kind of, like... And especially if you're, like, switching headsets with somebody, mm -hmm. you have to reconfigure the whole damn head he headset again. Oh, wow, I did not know that. Yeah, it's annoying. It's, okay. It's kind of, like, tedious because depending on what game it is, it's your set in a setting. And mind you, you don't have multiple cameras. You only mm -hmm. have one camera. So it's like, okay, so if I'm this, that's why I asked you about your, your right, right. how tall you were, because I, I was expecting like the PS4 thing, mm -hmm. but this will be so convenient, the way the Rift is set up, it's convenient to play with other people. Yes. With PS4, it's really not convenient Oh, okay, all. okay. Yeah, and even even though like, I, I, I'm, you know, I mean, I'm normally the only person playing on my, on my Rift, but yeah, I, I had no, I never thought about that at all, because all I, all I did, I didn't ask you anything, I just put the headset on you. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was that easy. It was that easy. I don't have to like, like I said, depending on the game. Right. But you don't have to sit there and like mess with it. Like you put the headset on and the mm. clarity was good. If that was a PS4, it feels, uh, like it's expensive. I I, I want to say PS4 feels like it's expensive, but it's not, uh, easy to adjust. Like sometimes I even have to configure it so it's not blurry. Right. Like this we just threw it on. Never. Never put that on my head a day in my life till today, and I clear as day. Oh, you know nice. I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. I guarantee if you try the PS4, you're like, ah, hold on. I got to adjust it. I got to squeeze here. I got to, you know, bring it up, bring it down. It's very uh, annoying. Right. Nah, nah. I got you. I got you. And and I didn't know that, so that that's definitely a, a major um, thing. And I'm pretty sure at some point they'll they'll get better at at, um, at doing that. There is a lot of adjustments on that, and I'm glad that we could just get you right in and, and, and good to go. It's, it's um, the sweet spot in the Oculus lenses tend to be a lot bigger than most of the other guys that are out there, and that's one of the plus of the Oculus. So, and, and you, without even knowing about it, just pointed that out, and yeah. so um, that, that is awesome right there. Um, and I guess one of the last thing that I wanted to talk about because um, we changed your um, we changed your settings for your turn. We did, right? Um, and I want you to just tell me like the feeling you were getting and 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 what made you, and then what you felt like playing in when you switched to the, to the snap. Um. So wait, let me get this right. There's snap setting and then there, what's the other smooth. setting? Smooth. Smooth setting. Okay. Yes. I still don't know the difference. What's the difference? And, okay, so um, snap would normally turn you about 45 degree at a, at a, in a split touch of the um, flick of the, the controller, the thumb stick, right? While um, smooth, it would just be like you're normally, like you're normally in, a, in a first person shooter. Okay. Um... So like Glad you brought that up. Okay. So I personally like snap. Right. Right? Okay. Yes. Smooth made me nauseous immediately. I put the headset on. Once I started playing, I'm like, I, I got a feeling I'm going to get sick. I have to switch the settings because I don't know what it is. If I put it on, I could probably explain it more, but I feel like 
I, I'm turning, and but then I'm also have to turn, like my eyes, that's what it was, my eye, every time I would turn, my eyes were readjusting, like they tried to go like this, but I didn't have to do that. I could right, keep yeah. my eyes straight. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. happened. And then I felt like I keep, like, I see that I'm moving, but my eyes don't, they, they can't predict that I'm going to move, I guess. I don't, right, right. And it, I just, nah, it could be, it could be, you know what I mean? And I'm someone that don't get any VR sickness at all, so I play everything full out, you know what I mean, which is what we call full locomotion, right? And and I remember I did say that to you earlier, it was like, um, that is like probably the most best way to play VR, but it's not the way that everyone can play VR, you know what I mean? But I, I just wanted to bring that up as because you still feel like you got the full experience though. What, like that I was actually there? Yes. Yeah, no, no, no doubt, it was still VR, like I, I loved it. Um, even, but I'm not gonna lie, even Snap kind of gave me, like, a little, like, I couldn't play it for more than 30 minutes, probably. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I do, what I do like about the PS4, I don't know if all the games on the Rift are like that. Mm -hmm. Is that how you would adjust it, either Snap or... I, I mean, it could do more than that. I can do, um, where it would be, like, teleporting, where you would teleport to a, to a spot, and then it, it'll, it'll have, like, um, you can do your turns, but you'll be in that spot until you teleport away again or everything like that um with like i said i only played a few games but the games that i do favor that i i came to realize i don't get sick mm -hmm. is when i teleport and i have like on the ps4 i think it's like b and i'll automatically turn like a 90 degree yes I okay like that. you, that's still snap turn okay that is snap turn. yeah you can you can go from 90 you can go from 40 to 90. okay you, you know what i mean it's just i feel like my brain I guess knows that I'm playing. A, I don't. I don't know. It's just hard to explain. But I. I'm just hit B. I turn right. Hit uh, whatever X. I turn left and I teleport forward. And if I need to, I can move around. So I'm just like bang, bang, like turning, moving my head, shooting. You, you know what I mean? No, no. I, I totally get that. It's, it's like I'm going with the game versus I'm going against the game. Like, right. Now I understand that. I think that's. I understand. And and and, and um and it's. Just the way you you are, you yeah, know what I mean, right? Yeah, yeah. it's just the way you are. Everybody, everybody's different. Everybody way, and, and so that's why settings for these things are extremely important. Right. Um, now, as I know, you kind of play standing sometimes and seated sometimes, um, and you know me, my my VR page, I mean my yeah YouTube page is mostly centered around um, a seated experience. So I had you playing seated. Uh, how would you think that is and the fact that I, I did you know I have you on my um, my X rocker chair how do you think the being with the, the base kickers how did that do you think it helped pull you more into the world or or what what was the feeling that that it yeah, that gave you for sure like um, the quality is good that yeah, like it's the sound quality is awesome you actually feel like you're more into the game it's like another uh, it helps. Right, right, it right. Helps. And um, the thing I don't like, you were talking, I could couldn't hear you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. like, that's the only thing I don't like. But other than that, I mean, I mean you could have just easily lift the, the earphone off, sure, or, but you know what sure. I mean. But, but I just um, want to get the full. Experience. No, no, right, right, right. And I was trying to help guide you along because we skipped the tutoring part of the game and just threw you right in. It's all good. Um, PS4 comes with a jack. Uh huh. And you, it comes with like earbuds, which right. is cool, but nowhere near as quality as that. That's that's okay. quality. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, all right. I mean, that is pretty much it. You know, I mean, I thank you for once again coming in and let me know your views on everything and your impression on um and this, and and I'm glad and welcome to the world of VR. You know, what I mean, I, you know, I'll. I'll pop this up, you can check it out, and we'll talk about the games that are coming to both of the Rift and the PlayStation 4 from time to time. Awesome. Alright. Uh, thank you for having me, and uh, if you haven't tried VR, try it, because you're going to love it. So.